following organic video short entails using the pKa table to practice acid and base reactions and writing organic mechanisms in general. On the pKa table, you have an acid and its conjugate base. To practice writing acid and base reactions, simply take an acid and react it with a base. For example, we can take, uh, for example, we can take the following ammonium acid as an acid. This is also another way to practice our Lewis structures, make sure that we can calculate proper formal charges. We react this acid with a conjugate base. Say, for example, the following alkyne anion. The acid and the base will react. The base removes a proton from the acid, electrons go back to the acid, to the nitrogen, giving us the following product. And we now, the electrons from this bond are now in the nitrogen atom, and the carbon is now bonded to the hydrogen atom. If we use the table again and just look at the pKa's, we'll see that the pKa of this acid is 9.3. The pKa of the of the of this conjugate base, the this acid is about 26. Therefore, the equilibrium of this reaction is shifted to the right-hand side. Let's try one more. Let's take this conjugate base and again we can use this to practice drawing Lewis structures. Notice that the heteroatoms do not have lone electrons, therefore you need to figure out how many lone electrons are on the molecule. And we'll react it, this base, with this following acid. The base abstracts a proton, electrons go back to the carbon atom. We then redraw what we had before. Remember to show all electrons. Electrons went from the oxygen, picked up the proton, these electrons went back to the carbon atom and now have a negative charge. The oxygen stays attached to the aromatic ring, has two lone pairs, but a pair of electrons is now bonded to the hydrogen atom. The pKa table shows us that this acid has a pKa of 10, and this acid has a pKa of 15. Therefore, in this case, the equilibrium is shifted.